You all remember Blockade Labs, correct? The app where you could create 3D worlds just by typing something? That was already very cool. But this, this new beta update, 0.4.1, is crazier and much better because now you could actually draw in, as you can see here, you could draw in the whole world or the whole space and it would create much more precisely what you're looking for and with much cooler effect. We're going to try this together right now. So I'm going to leave everything as default here and I'm going to try the simplest job that I possibly can seeing as we're in a cylindrical shape before because as you can see as i'm going to show you you can also have it in a plane or a cube so now we're in a cylinder i'm going to leave it in the cylindrical shape i will be drawing more or less random lines what i'm trying to achieve here what i'm going to try to do is create a spaceship environment i know i'm doing a horrible job i'm not very good at drawing but that's actually going to show us how smart this update is and how capable it's going to be. I'm going to try to draw all around and make it look like it's a spaceship. Now again, this is a simple, rather bad job that I'm doing, but let's see the result of this. Let's see what we get. We'll add some lines to the top to make it have a roof of some sort, maybe that's going to be a see-through roof. We'll ask it to show us some planets as well. Now let's add a window or a few windows all around so we could get a better view. So I realize some of the areas here are going to get cut but there's not much to see here on the left it's basically just uh, one button to turn the screen and one button to draw so let's put sitting inside a futuristic rocket a spaceship um, with windows and we can see Earth outside. Let's generate this and see what we get. We're, we left everything by default. You also have about 20 or 30 different models that you can try. Maybe we'll try a different one. I left the digital painting, which is the basic one. And let's see what we get here. Wow. This is actually much better than I even expected. Considering my totally crappy drawing, this is exactly what I was imagining actually, and it did a better job than I would have wanted to. As you can see, it put the windows exactly where I drew them to be. You can zoom in a little bit, zoom out. See, there's multiple models here that you can choose from. Uh, let's try a different one and generate, see uh, how much different it's going to be. When you zoom out, you can see that the you can see that the resolution is not crazy good yet, but it's going to get there. As a proof of concept, this is insane. You can also choose to download all of these and perhaps use them in your other software like Stable Diffusion, etc. You could use them with the VR if you have VR to feel more immersed. Wow, this is super cool. So choosing the sci-fi model completely changed the look of it, but it still kept the same sort of design that we drew. This is really awesome. So let's see what else we can try here. We can choose to remix. And if you remix, it's going to allow you to change the prompt, keep almost everything the same, but change the prompt to make small changes. For example, you could ask it to change the time of day, the weather and any such details, the lighting and so on. Now, what's also interesting that's coming soon, according to this is that you will be able to add an item. So once you finish drawing, you can add small items here and there. So basically it's going to be like in paint. Now let's try something else. Let's try to create hobbit houses. Who doesn't like hobbit houses? So again, I'm doing an absolutely terrible job here, but this will only go to show how smart the Blockade Labs software is. Let's draw more houses all around. 
Now, if you leave the back empty, if you just draw what you're seeing in front of you, then what it would do is fill, in, fill it in itself. It'll figure out itself what to do. Usually it just mirrors whatever you did in front. It'll do something similar in the back as well. But if you want to have more control, and this is the point of this exercise, it would be to go all around and draw things yourself the way you want them to look. Now let's change the prompt in the middle of a field. Hobbit houses all around, grass on the roof and trees. Let's generate and see what we get. Again, quite impressive. Look at this. How pretty is this, guys? Now, yes, you could type things and like you used to do before, but you could not define the shapes that you wanted. You could not have any control. Now we have a lot of control over this. And soon we're going to get even more control by being able to add items and remove items from the picture. Let's again try to change this to a different model. Let's put dream like this time and see how different it's going to be. Wowzers! This is really cool. This looks somewhat more realistic in a way. The grass is looking more realistic here, as you can see. The wood also looks like it's real. The lighting is a bit softer. It's a bit different. It looks more like a movie than a cartoon like our last one. So let's try one more thing, but this time we're going to select a field view instead of the cylinder view that we had earlier. Let's draw a road with some cars and signs over here. We're going to try to make a cyberpunk setting this time to change from the nature setting that we've had so far, fantasy. Let's make a car here. This looks like a sideways salt shaker. I'm terrible at drawing, guys. I'm absolutely terrible. <laughs> this looks like, I don't know, a boat. So yeah, I don't expect amazing results because, well, I suck at drawing. The road continues a bit. We're going to make a road all around just so we can get that 360 view. Let's add some more cars here, some more shapes and let the AI fill it in the way it wants to. Again, super cool. I don't know if you guys have played Cyberpunk 2077, but this looks like a scene from the game. What they've done right now and what's coming with the in painting and everything else seems like they're creating a stable diffusion, but for 3D, for virtual reality. And I'm going to download the ones I made and going to try to add them into stable diffusion and see if I can create something better with them. Let me know what you thought about Blockade Labs. We'll touch upon it again in a few in a few more iterations. And if I'm able to create something with these models inside of stable diffusion, I have some ideas for that. I will keep you guys updated. Until next time.